Yeah, that makes sense. Going back to PS2. Plenty of space for both players to kind of run around here. You're gonna see a lot of fun little set play here from. Oh my god! Manages to make it back. This is gonna be very hard. Wario's so floaty. Man, Bayo is fun to watch. Oh, she's awesome. Honestly, I, sh I should start playing more Bayo. Yeah, last time we played, I, li I liked your Bayo. Thank you, I appreciate that. No Ray Luna, but a man can always learn. Uh oh. Yeah, Wario. Sometimes the menace in the air against most characters just can't hold a candle to Ray Luna's Ray Luna's aerial pressure. But you know, the Swamp is that X factor that Loot always has in his pockets. Yeah. No down tilts. Instead, those jabs gonna kill. Yeah, should do it. Now Loot's starting to try and look through these confirms here. Oh no. Something that does set Loot apart from other Warriors. They are unafraid to use that up special in neutral. For better or for worse. Also surprised not to see a lot of this motorcycle action. Always like to have that handy. Instead, we're just challenging Ray Luno at every point. Try not really, well, approaching from the air and getting punished for it each time. Finally, motorcycles on stage. <laughs> Barely. Ooh, just hang it. Just <laughs> oh my God, it's not even on the stage. See, that's Wario's one true love. Not money. Not garlic, the motorcycle. His baby. The baby's getting beaten up. I used to have one. I understand the passion for the bike. What was your name? Uh, I didn't name it. That's a good. That's a good thing. Yeah. All right, neutral. I'm actually going through those bullets. We talk about a cast iron summit. Loft is online. I see. Yeah, what's there? It's it's powered up. Oh, great Media dash, dash attack. attack. So now Loot's going to be looking for these combos, trying to rack up the damage and then go for... Is that it? Oh, uh, no. Thanks, Batson, then. Loot a little frustrated there, but, you know, Waft is still there. Hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, what? What? I feel like Loot was robbed. I think so, too. This game is rigged. Check the console. I want to recount. And as we're distracted by squabbling over numbers, oh no, Ray Luno takes it, that yeah. first game. You know, Ray Luno, you don't have to take off the headset every time. You, you can just hug. Anyway, it looks like we may get the run back here. <laughs> Both of them just laughing. Be like, that was ridiculous. Oh, going PT. You know what? Lou probably was like, hey, PT ditto, PT ditto. <laughs> the only chance he had. Ray Luno's not taking that bait. I expect to see a lot of Squirtle here. But uh, but playing him, I noticed he, he kind of uh, likes Ivysaur, yeah. This is a tough matchup. Yeah, Ivysaur is really easy to combo, so I, I would say Squirtle if I were playing. Yeah, it, it's definitely a lot of tag team between Squirtle and Ivy, where like Squirtle handles the neutral, and like if Squirtle can get her off stage, uh, then, then Ivysaur can do pretty good on like the edge guarding. Bayonetta like can do oh and mix up <laughs> quite a lot. But yeah, honestly, uh, of all three mons, like in terms of neutral, I feel like versus Bayo, it's either Squirtle or in like some regards Charizard. Flame Breath can like keep her at bay because the way ABK works and stuff like that. You know, but I mean, hey, closing this gap. I'm, I'll we, shut up now. Oh wow, the you call out. If we take a Devon Squirtle and put it with a Lutz Ibisaur, we'd have a really good PT. <laughs> Don't know who the Charizard would be, though. I got a good Charizard. Okay, we'll put it with your Charizard. Can't be any worse than those two. <laughs> you know, this is pretty tough, but living at 169, yeah, this Pokemon well, is well, too angry to die. Now we're in the where Bayonetta can't really kill that easily. It's quite unfortunate, trying to go for a straight hit. Or which, or which time? Anything. Look, if anything, this is Ray Luno's fault for not killing. Totally. Oh, oh no! Don't Max don't rage. die! No! Oh! <laughs> it's like kill me faster. He wants to get the Squirtle, I bet. Yep. And those are those combos you were talking about. 
All right, getting a little desperate there. Fortunately, Bayonetta does not roll that far. But I think oh, they were trying to catch go. an ABK. Don't, don't tell yeah. me that. Oh my god. Combo food. John over there complaining that people are letting Veo come to the stage for free. Loot didn't know! Down smash? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a pretty bad bounce there. Oh, and that is the nice game. game. Loot not very happy with that, but understood the risk he he took going PT. Honestly, I do want to talk about that bounce on that last stock because it's something that we've pretty much talked about before here where there are certain characters that if they, you know, this is like, hold on, oh, we didn't actually see the bounce there. But what happens is like, you know, I would say, what is it, Banjo-Kazooie and Charizard both have like a mechanic where they'll like charge forward and then they'll bounce off a wall. They'll clank kind of off of it and exactly. yeah, recoil. Yeah. Yeah. It's an opportunity for any character to punish. Like right there, that was so hard. We go out, you know, pretty much the end. Like, we saw the bounce, right? And that gave the opportunity. He had to go back a little too far there. But it was just like, right. It was just like inches away from yeah. death right there. The six inch stilettos. Six inch stilettos really forcing Loot to actually recover a little Maybe bit six high. Six feet stilettos. But right there, Rayluno just waiting for the perfect opportunity to punish and just gets it right there. A little easy witch twist into that forward air. Some really good stuff there. Loot, not happy, but understanding what they did wrong. And Ray Luna is going to fight John Numbers here in Grand Finals. I mean, hey, he may have a Bayo problem, but it didn't look like it last time. <laughs> no.